What's up guys? It's Wally, and today we're going to be doing some more battles with the All Types team. So it's been a while since we've ended up using this team, but earlier today on stream, we ended up using one of our other teams with Bramblegast on it, and it made me realize how much I actually miss using this team, and doing this entire concept in general. I mean, it's something we've done for the past couple regulations, uh, and it's something that, you know, we did early on in this regulation, but really haven't done much with since. But now that the meta has developed a bit more since then, I'm sure there are a few things that we could do with this team to make it better and kind of fit that meta a bit more. So if you guys have any suggestions or seen anything throughout these battles, guys, make sure to go down in the comment section and let me know. But other than that, I'm really excited to use this team again. Like I said, I really miss this concept and I really miss this team. So I'm really excited to do these battles with these guys. So we'll get into some, but before we do, as always, if you guys are new here, just tab and chat, please make sure to go down and hit the subscribe button. If you guys do enjoy the video, please make sure to drop a like too. But let's get into some battles. All right, now this is one where I feel like we're going to have to avoid our Tailwind here. Um, that is a little unfortunate, but uh, only because then we're really not going to be bringing Bramblegast. But um, that's all right. We're going to go with Glamora as well as... Um, I think we back Scalibur to start, and then in the back we'll have uh, Urshifu. Hmm. And I think we're going to have the uh, Giraffe as well. Yeah, I don't really see them putting up a Trick Room though. But even so, I think we can uh, still do some good work with this team. Yeah, I think we're going to be fine here. Question is, what do they end up leading with? I, I really... I, I mean, I would imagine it's going to be Grimmsnarl. I would imagine. And that's why we ended up bringing Glamora uh, to, to kind of start here. Yeah, there it is. Alright, problem is I feel like they're going to have Draining Kiss. So let's go Sludge Bomb. Now watch that be a fairy terror right off the bat. I want to focus on taking out Grim Snarl. They're gonna go for the fairy terror and go for the uh, draining kiss on the first one. Are they potentially gonna go nasty plot. We'll find out in just a moment, won't we? Now, what do we got here? By the way, I realized I didn't really do a great job in the intro kind of explaining the All-Types team. So, pretty much in Pokemon... I don't think just went straight low. Okay, that's perfect. Uh, but in Pokemon, there are 18 different types. Son of a gun. That sucks. Alright, we sh still should be able to knock out, though. Because at least we'll get them down to about half. Oh, yeah, we're good. Because, yeah, the Icicle Spear will get them down to about half. Or past half. No, we're good. And we only got four hits on it. Sludge Bomb. KO. Okay, but yeah. So, um... Uh, yeah, so there are 18 different types in Pokemon. You know, normal fighting and so on. Um, and now that uh, Terra is a thing, you know, Pokemon can have dual types, and then now they can have a third Terra type. So then on a team of six, you can have... Oh, son of a... That's okay, though. Um... They're probably going to end up protecting on this first one, to be honest with you. Let's go for the Earth Power, just in case. Let's go for the Icicle Spear, too. Let's see what they end up doing. Ah, oh, they're probably going to end up... Okay, good. Good, they did end up protecting. I can appreciate that. Snarl again. A little more goes down a little bit more. Um, but yeah, so on a team of six, you can have 18 different types on the team, and that's kind of the thought process behind this team, is let's have all 15 different types on the same team. So you'll see Pokemon with, nice crit, a Pokemon with, uh, uh, with like a weird Terra, like our Talonflame has like a Bug Terra, which I know literally doesn't really make any sense. It's still nice to have, again, all 18 different types and again, having that on there was really to make it so that we could actually accommodate for all 18 different types. Hmm. Alright. 
I think what we're going to do is we're going to Terrastalize. We're going to go for the Earth Power. And I'm also going to go for the Icicle Spear over there. Just in case they decide to Terrastalize into grass. Which it kind of looks like they're about to try to do. Gotta be grass, right? Oh, you bet. This is perfect. And again, we outspeed the... Uh, we outspeed our... Uh, uh, Glamora. So the good thing about that is that we'll get the Icicle Spear first, and then we'll get the Earth Power over into um, uh, Spectrier. But yeah, so yeah, it's cool they actually have all of those different types on the same team. Question is, do we outspeed Heatran? We do. Let's go. Oh, that's definitely going to be enough. You don't have a berry. Thank you. Yeah, you don't. Let's go. Uh, I will say I'm really glad that that was not a bug Terra, you know? Because I know some Heatran have actually been going bug lately, too. So it, it's nice that we're able to kind of, you know, avoid that out there. This ain't going to do much because we're minus three. Yeah, yikes. Yeah, we're gonna have to swap out here, but that's fine. Now we get to see Rillaboom. Um, they think that they're actually gonna get a... Um, yeah, they think they're gonna get a Fake Out, but we're gonna swap out into Ferrigarath. And let's go for the Icicle Spear over there. Now, question is, do they go for, like, a Shadow Ball or something like that over into... Uh, over into Backscalibur? Nice, we stopped the fake out with that. Perfect. Going for the will, but you can't do that to Backscalibur. Now we get a plus one, and we're in a much better spot. Uh, a good enough spot that we're about to take out Rillaboom. Let's go. All right, okay. Yeah, now we're... I think we're good to go here. Yeah, so we're going to have to go Dazzling Gleam, and we'll probably end up going with the uh, Icicle Spear again then, too. Let's go Dazzling. Let's go Icicle Spear. And game is over. Let's go. Really good game on that one. All right, now this actually looks like a really interesting team, and one that we might actually have to worry about a Trick Room. So, let's end up starting off with the Giraffe. Um, and aside from that, too... Hmm... I mean, again, Talonflame really is going to be kind of useless here. Um, I think... I think we're going to go Glamora, and then I'll have Urshifu in the back, along with Baxcalibur, too. Um, but yeah, I realized in the last uh, battle, I really didn't do a good job of explaining the all-types team again. Uh, so just as a little more concise thing... 18 different types of Pokemon. Each Pokemon can have three different types because they can be a dual type and a Terra type. Six different Pokemon on a team. Three times six is 18. You can have every single type on the team and that was kind of our plan here. So that's why, again, you have the Bug Terra over on um, uh, like Talonflame and all that, which again is extremely weird, but you know, kind of serves its, its purpose here. All right, up your special defense. That's fair. Um... I think we're going to have to imprison the Trick Room here. Um, and let's see, what are they? They're Rock and Ice, which means they're going to be 4x weak to the ground, but definitely weak to the Rock. Um, if they don't terrestrialize. I think I'm going to go with the... I'm going to try for the Earth Power over there. They may end up terrestrializing on the first one. Uh, and they may end up... They don't? Okay. Is that Sash? Oh, Sturdy. Hello. That's right. I forget about that. Oh. Oh, boy. Wow. They were willing to do that to Indeedee, too? Holy cow! Well, either way, no trick room for you. Sorry, buddy. Let's go. 
Um, yeah, I guess Earthquake makes sense. Um, but either way... Hmm, forget who exactly they had in the back. But I will go Urshifu. I think I can deal with that. The weakness policy, though. Damn. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's totally fine. So let's go Hyper Voice here, and let's go with the, um... Yeah, let's go with the Surging Strikes. It's probably smarter. And it's fine, because the Hyper Voice is going to knock it out. And thankfully the third one actually knocks out. Dang. Good, and then we should have the priority on this one. I think we did on the last. I think we did on the last. We did. Okay, good. Hyper Voice knocks out Avalug. That's good. Now we all we have to do is deal with two more Mons. Uh, they do still have Terrain, which is unfortunate. But we still do have our Terra, and unfortunately they do too. Um... To you, and then that means the last one then would be Fluttermane, then wouldn't it? Nope, it would be Drago, that's right, because they went for the Trick Room. Poison. Poison. Oh, I forget, because they have to do the ability, too. And then Drago slower, so they go with that, too. Okay. Now, again, though, they do have their uh, Terra still available, and that's not great. Um... Yeah, I think we'll be fine here. I'm going to Terrastalize into Fairy, just in case they go with the Dragon move or a Dark move, so we'll be able to resist it. Um, and we'll also have a uh, strong move over into Drago, too. Um, I'm going to go for a uh, Drain Punch over to Drago, too. It's fine, we get to see what their Terra is going to be. It's going to be Chi Yu into... Into Ghost. That's fair. Can't be upset at that. But the good thing here is I do believe that we go first with the Drain Punch. And if not, they're not going to be able to knock out uh, uh, Urshifu in one anyways. Nice. Good damage. And then we, yeah, Dark Pulse, again, nice, because if not, we wouldn't have been able to, uh, wouldn't have been able to survive that. Rigorath doesn't get affected by this. Urshifu only takes about half. And we get the Dazzling Gleam. Thankfully, no flinch, because that would have been bad. Drago gets knocked out. Chiyu's going to take some more damage and get it down to half because of the uh, poison. And I think we're in a really good spot here, then. Yeah, just under half. So, let's go Dazzling Gleam, and either way, though, Surging Strike should be able to take it out, and we do have priority. Uh, not priority, but we have the speed over them. So there we go, though. Very nice. Really good game there. Ooh, this is extremely interesting. Now, aside from the two dark Pokemon on the team, in Tyranitar and um, uh, Masquerada, Really don't see much of an issue with Bramble here. So we're going to start Talonflame and Bramble. Uh, and in the back, we're going to have Glamora. I don't think we can really afford to go with Archifu here because of the uh, Electric from Rotom and then, of course, the uh, Storm Drain too. So let's go back Scalibur as well. I would imagine that they're probably going to end up leading with um, the two Rockmons. They're going to be able to set the... Um, the weather, which is unfortunate, and that's going to be really tough for Talonflame too, don't get me wrong, but, um, either way though, I think we'll be alright. Hmm. Yeah, so I'm a little worried about a Rock Slide, Rock Slide. Uh, I feel like that's going to probably be their, their lead if they end up starting with those two, of course. 
Um, and we can just adjust accordingly. Okay, so I was half right, I guess. I'm gonna go for the Tailwind. I'm gonna go for the Seed Bomb. I feel like they're gonna expect me to go for the uh, Brave Bird down there. And they're gonna go for the Protect. At the very least, we have uh, Sash. Just in case they go Sucker Punch or something. I think they're trying to figure out what they want to do too. Yep, here comes uh, Titar. That's not Titar. My bad. Huh. Okay, I was gonna say, I would hope that you'd be sad. Gonna be a move up there. Yeah, the rock slide. Makes sense. Sorry, Talon. That is unfortunate, but that's okay. We'll figure this out. Let's go, uh... Let's go Glamora here. I think that's a good call. So, let's go with... Oh, let's see. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to stay our current, uh... Yeah, I think we're gonna have to stay with our current uh, typings here, not Terra. Only because they have grass in the back, and at least with the poison typing on uh, Glamora, we can at least make the grass type into a neutral hit. Whereas if we're the ground type, obviously it's just gonna be super effective. Painful Bunker, that's totally understandable. That's why we didn't go for a physical move over there. Shadow Sneak. Goodbye. No Endeavor, thankfully. Uh, that always worries me, to be completely honest with you. Uh, it's definitely not my favorite move to deal with. Um, yeah, there's the Earth Power. Hmm. Is this gonna be Masquerade again? Nope, that's their fourth Mon. Ooh, I would imagine that's going to be their Terra. Alright, here's what we're going to do. So we're going to do that. And, like, doing that is just so dumb. Okay, this is going to be dumb. I know, I know. Because they're probably going to end up protecting over there on... Uh, Yeah, they're probably going to end up protecting. But I'm still going to double over there just in case they end up terrestrializing. So we're going to go for an Earth Power over there, and we're also going to go for a Seed Bomb. Again, that's why it was dumb to do that. Probably should have doubled over into the other spot, but that's okay. Again, I'm not worried about Marini, you know, really per se, because it's not really that strong of a Pokemon, but... Oh, they do have, like, Poison Jab and all that kind of stuff, though. Or Sludge Bomb, or whatever the heck they are. Toxic, that's... okay. It's not ideal. That sucks. But that's okay. We're gonna be alright here. Hmm. Alright. Just in case they do swap out here, I'm gonna assume that they're gonna terrestrialize. But let's go for the uh, Power Gem to make that neutral on Meowskarada. Um, and then we'll go Seed Bomb as well, just in case. Yep. Figured they would take out. So let's double over there. We're not going to get much on the Seed Bomb, honestly. But, at the same time, at least we'll get the... Uh... Oh, that's actually a good amount. Power Gems should knock out then, right? Sure does. Let's go. Now, if I didn't think that they would have the Fire Terra and everything... Okay, that just takes away our, our plus one. Um... But if I didn't think that they were going to be the Fire Terror, I would have went for the, uh, for the Poison over there, but... It's neither here nor there. Tailwind's gone, that's fair. Uh, but now all we have to deal with are these two Mons. Okay, here's what we're going to do, is we're going to Earth Power over there, and we're going to Seed Bomb over there. 
Could be a double protect just to get a little extra poison damage. Please be a fire Terra. How great would that be? Gotta be. The water Terra, no shots! That's, that's fair, okay. That's pretty cool. Wow. I'm surprised they would do that with the Seed Bomb out there. They had Protect. Interesting, okay. Ooh, the Ice Beam, that definitely takes out. Right, all right. Fair enough. A little extra lefties. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, terrestrializing into electric backscalibur is just dumb right here because they do have earth power. So let's tear into ground with Glamora. Ooh, I've been... Wow, I've been really... Uh, Wow, I've been playing really loose with that then. Well, let's do that. Let's go with the Earth Power over there. I'm surprised they didn't do that. Um, let's go with the... Let's go with the Glaive Rush over there. Yeah, I should have been worrying about that uh, a bit more. That's alright. Now we do it before it's too late. Huh. I'm trying to think about what we might have had that would have done that. I guess Mortal Spin. Mortal Spin would have would have been blocked. That would have been good. Yeah, the Yawn's not good though. Yeah, Black Sludge, that's fine. And we know it's gonna be a double protect here. We'll just go Glaive Rush. They're probably going to end up uh, going Baneful Bunker and Protect, though. Oh, no! Okay! Interesting. That's fair. I, I Look, I understand, though. I mean, it was going to be kind of tough from that perspective when both of them were such low HP and we had the speed. Um, but still, I think Lamora was going to be able to take care of everything uh, because we would have been able to take care of, uh, of uh, Gastrodon first. And then again, it, there really wasn't much that... Uh, Toxapex was going to be able to do. So, we'll take it. Good game. All right. Now, this is a very interesting team. Um, yikes. I think we're going to bring Talonflame mainly for the... Um, potentially for some burns and the taunt, too. And actually, it'd be pretty good against uh, Rillaboom, too. Uh, but let's have Talonflame, let's have Bramblegast to kind of make it appear as if that's what we're going to do. Um, and then in the back, we'll have Glamora. I think we'll have Backscalibur as well. Yeah. I think we're going to do that. I mean, there are a handful of things to worry about on this team. And I th actually think I saw this exact team on stream today, too. So I'm sure it's one of those, one of those rentals that someone put out. Um... Looks really cool, though. I mean, Galarian Zapdos, can't really go wrong with that. Palafin is way past its prime. Ting Lu, I haven't seen much of it in uh, Reg D. But all the other ones are pretty common. In terms of, like, stuff that we've seen before. So we shouldn't have too much of a problem with it. But really, the Galarian Zapdos is probably going to be the biggest problem. Only because I don't think I've seen it enough to be able to really know or at least assume what's going to be on it. All the other ones, again, since we've seen them fairly often, since they're pretty common, we kind of know what to expect with them. But, again, that's going to be kind of the wild card here. Oh, we're in the restaurant, too. Larry's looking over me. Okay. 
My question is, who would they bring out? Yeah, I would imagine they would either bring out Cresselia? Or they would end up bringing out uh, Goldengo. So I'm going to go with the... Hmm. I'm going to go off the bat with a Brave Bird. And I'm going to go for the uh, Seed Bomb over there too. Yeah, you withdrew them. It's probably going to be Cresselia. The Pokemon fan. No! Oh! Oh, kind of wish I would have done the... Uh-oh. Uh That's fine. We still have... Whatchamacallit. Covert Cloak. Good damage. I appreciate that. Seed Bomb... Yeah, they ain't gonna do anything. Not against a flying mon like that, you know? Alright. Well, we're gonna get our Tailwind here. We should go Will-O-Wisp, to be honest with you. And, uh, let's go for the Phantom Force over there, too. Yeah, I think that's gonna be our problem here, unfortunately. Um, again, probably should have went for the Will-O-Wisp over into the Zapdos, but, um... That's okay, though. Again, we'll get the Tailwind here. That way we can get our uh, plus one. I don't think any of them have anything that'd be priority, so I think we're going to be okay here to be able to set it. Should be faster than the both of them. Uh, I know that thing is... That thing Defiant? Hold on. Ah, I'm not going to look it up now. That's fine, though. Okay, good. They actually just back out here. That's perfect. Who are they bringing out? Goldie! Oh, detect. Okay, dope. Yeah, well, probably a good thing that we didn't end up going for the uh, for the Willow Wisp then. All right, good. We got the Tailwind. That's perfect. Get the Phantom Force. Let's go with the Brave Bird over there too. Let's make sure we take that thing out. Because, again, we do have a ground terror to really deal with uh, with Goldie over there. And we do still have our Sash intact, which is really, really nice, too. Yep. I'm assuming this is going to be Goldie. Steel? You betcha. Cool. Good damage. Recoil, of course. And a force. Not quite enough, yikes. That is a little rough, but that's okay. Get that. Hopefully that means they're gonna be choiced into that. That would actually be really ideal. Okay, hold on now. Hold on. Go Glamora here. We Tailwind for two. So here's what we're gonna do. Let's terrestrialize, let's go for the Earth Power. And um we should go for the Shadow Sneak over there, but I think they're gonna detect. So I'm gonna go for the Shadow Sneak um over there. I wanna see if I can knock out Goldie. And again, they've already detected once, so I feel like they're going to do it again. Although the fact that they're taking a while to figure out what they want to do leads me to believe that maybe I did pick the wrong thing. But we're going to trust in our decision until we figure... Son of a gun. Okay, that's fine, though. That's fine. We're going to be okay here. I think we're still going to be okay even if they don't protect. Oh, thank you. I'm glad they did. Oh, that makes me feel so much better. Okay, perfect. 
Good damage, and this is going to be resisted. And they have a pinch berry. That's not good. Yeah, that's not going to do much. Yeah, it's not bad, actually. I, I appreciate that. We're going to have to go spiky. Let's go Shadow Sneak over there. That's fine. We'll end up knocking out uh, Zapdos, and that's going to be really important. Perfect. They take some damage on that, too, which is even better. Uh, which actually makes it so that we can actually probably KO with a uh, Shadow Sneak, too. Bramble's just OP, man. You know what I mean? I love this thing. It's become one of my favorite Pokemon now. I love it. Eh, Tailwind's gone. That is unfortunate. Grass is gone, which means their uh, Wood Hammer isn't going to do as much. It's still going to be pretty bad, don't get me wrong, but it's not going to do as much. Um, Alright, so let's go Earth Power over there, and let's go Shadow Sneak over... Oh, that's not going to knock out, though, is it? Still going to give it a shot, though. I really got to hope for the best. I don't think that they have Protect over on... Yeah. Yeah, not quite enough, unfortunately. Make it rain. Nice, Glamora survives that. Please tell me that we go first. We have our buried, that's fine. Please tell me we have the speed. Nice, okay good. We get our wood hammer, or our uh, earth power first. That'll bring it down to absolutely nothing. Holy cow, okay, beautiful. I love that ground terra. Unfortunately, you're about to see the downside to the ground terra. Again, the downside to the ground terra. They didn't need the crit. That 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 KO'd like two or three more Glamora down the line. Alright. Well, that's unfortunate, but they're an Ice Shard and a uh, uh, Shadow Sneak away. Um, no, they're not. They're just completely away because of the recoil. Forgot about that with Woodhammer. There we go. Um, so now we have these two left. So we have Excalibur and we have... Uh, we have Glam or, uh, Bramblegast. And last but not least, we have to face Palafin again, who is now poisoned. Love to see that. Forgot about them, if I'm being completely honest with you. Um, well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to just go all out. We're going to go with the Glaive Rush, and we're going to go with the Shadow Sneak. We should double protect to get the extra poison damage, but I don't feel like messing around here. Uh, and we didn't even have to. They kind of knew what was going to happen, especially with them being poisoned. It's going to be really tough for them to kind of survive the rest of the battle, since all they could do is hit one Pokemon at a time. And the question is, which one are we going to take out? And that Glaive Rush is extremely strong. So, either way, we ended up getting the win. That's what I'm talking about. Bramblegast, definitely the MVP in my mind. Good game. Again, it's been a while since we've ended up using this team, but it still feels really good. I mean, there are definitely, again, a lot of things that we can end up changing here to kind of make it better for you know, a lot of the Pokemon that we're going to end up seeing. But uh, for now, this is still, again, was a really, really great start at the beginning of the month last month. And I think still actually holds pretty decently here. I mean, you saw in a couple of those battles. I mean, Bramblegast really, uh, in my mind, is still the, the king of Reg D, only because it was so, um, I don't want to say bad, but definitely overlooked uh, in uh, Series 1, 2, and Reg C. Um, so I'm really glad that it's really gotten its chance to shine here. Again, Glamora just hit so hard. Baxcalibur, again, probably, um, well, definitely not the best pseudo legendary of all time, let's be completely honest, but pretty damn good in this one. Um, and then, of course, Frigoraf is great to imprison. Urshifu, we all know how strong Urshifu is. And again, Talonflame, despite the fact that Tornadus is out there and does have the Prankster, it's still not bad because you do have the Will-O-Wisp, you have the Taunt, and of course, Brave Bird, if you do choose to do that instead of the uh, Tailwind on the first turn, 
uh, as long as you don't have any damage on you, you're going to be able to get that as a priority move. So I think Talonflame, again, while not as good as Tornadus, still has um, a niche in Regulation D, and especially I have the Will-O-Wisp and all that too. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. But again, all types team. If you guys have any suggestions or anything to kind of, uh, I guess, fine-tune the team a little bit, but still keep with the uh, theme of keeping the all types team, you guys let me know down in the comments. I will definitely take a look at them and try to adjust accordingly. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed the battles. If you guys did, make sure to drop a like, and we'll see you guys next time.